so we're back and now you have seen how to conduct uh, the molecules of life virtual lab and you'll see you have a tab here for that so now we want to do cell structure so you want to go ahead and click on the virtual lab cell structure if you've had science 100 from me this will probably look like um, something you're familiar with so for those who haven't all of your instructions are on this left side panel so what you want to do is you want to read. Yes, <laughs> you must read in the course. Uh, you'll see the objectives of the lab and then the procedure for conducting the lab. And the procedure just tells you what needs to be done. So it says collect a cell part by clicking on it and then you will get a clue. So the clue box will tell you that one says blueprint. So then you have to use the up and down arrows to pick the correct name. For it, and I'm gonna go here real fast. You see, the sound is awful, but there it is. So I know that this is chromatin, and so I did number two. It says find the name, and then moving on, it says click up and down arrows in the structure function box to find the description of the selected part. So if we do that, let's see what that gives us. And I know that chromatids and uncoiled bundles of DNA, the genetic material of the cell. And so now once I have all three aligned, I click the check. And I know that it's correct because it labels it. If it is incorrect, you will not get a label. You will actually get a ugly sound and then you would have to go on. So once I've done that, this is just for you to understand the structures uh, and functions of the parts of the cell. I'll then open up my uh, Word document, and I didn't show it, so I'm just going to backtrack. So for those who are like, where'd you get that from? It's here. So the cell structure VLAB worksheet, for every virtual lab, you have a worksheet that goes along with it, and it's usually there as well. So we'll go ahead, click on that, and this is the worksheet that should pop up on your computer. So now that we know long uncoiled strands of DNA in the animal cell structure, we know it's chromatin. And so here I would type in the word. My A key is sticking. Chromatin. All right. And so I'll complete the whole list for all of the animal cell structure. You then have 10 questions. That you have to answer. Uh, the way I usually like for you to answer it is by highlighting again or bold, but to highlight seems to be so easy. So you'll highlight your answer on those. And then come lastly, it says, please answer the journal questions. There are five below. And you are asking yourself what journal questions are she talking about. So what you have to do is go back into your virtual lab and you have to click on this tab that says journal. Hey. And up pops questions. And what I want you to do is then take this and type those questions into the box. And so it says, how are sales similar to a factory or business? List five similarities. And so you will go back to your Word document and you would say something like however you want it. So I'm writing the similarities to factories and then you'll go ahead and list those. And so once you've answered question one, you then want to go back and you want to answer question two, three, four, and five. So once we've done all of those questions, they should be here under the journal question tab. And so when you upload it into Blackboard, I will look for all five questions to be answered. If you have not answered all five questions, then of course you'll get a great deduction of points. So it is to your advantage that you follow what I'm telling you and go ahead and answer the questions. All right, so once you've done this entire worksheet, you want to then save it and upload it and place it into your Blackboard lab Dropbox. 
And so um, I see here that you all don't have a lab Dropbox yet, but I will add one. And so that will then complete how to do the sales structure lab. So that was pretty simple. All we did was we went in, we then clicked on one of the organelles, we then did the correct structure function, and then we wrote the name of the correct one into our worksheet. And then you'll change over to plant cells, and you do the same. All right. Hope this has been helpful and hope you are successful in completing.